Well, I was going to ask you what you wanted to do, Arthur, but I think you answered the question. Sean's mother just left for the cottage, so Sean and I have the house to ourselves. Well, with a little baby doggy too. Good morning. Hey, guess what? Chicken butt. Not chicken butt. Chicken butt. Chicken butt. Chicken butt. <laughs> okay, so guess what? I stop. I'm <laughs> um, we are now able for Buffer Festival to choose our seats for the theaters that we have um, picked for our shows that we bought that we bought tickets for. Because this year they're having assigned seating, where last year you could just sit wherever. Um, I'm not too happy about that whole uh, assigned seating thing. I think it's it's probably good for them. Um, it will probably be, um, make things a bit easier for them to possibly organize. I don't However, know. like in theory, yeah. it might be like easier for them to organize. But I feel like it's the wrong type of people to be um, assigning them, making them have assigned seats because uh, the YouTube fan base can get a little rowdy. I guess, and then uh, having assigned seats might be a little, might be a little interesting and hard to manage, especially for like, I'm assuming that the volunteers are going to have to keep track of that a lot, which we could be end up being volunteers and having to do that, and I feel like it might. It'll be really hard. It might be a fiasco. Who knows? Everybody might be super respectful of it, and it might just go swimmingly, but it also might not. I don't know. We don't. We won't know until we get there. Essentially, but yeah. I have a feeling. Uh, okay, so first off, people who bought tickets while they were on presale at a cheaper price got to pick seatings first. So the people who were bigger fans and um, who really wanted to get tickets immediately uh, got for selection. So that's people who will most likely pick front row seats if they yeah, can. Yeah, to be closer to the people. Um, and then, say if you didn't have access to any funds before then, but then you wanted to get a front row seat and you can't, people are going to lie all the time. People are going to steal each other's seats. Mm. Uh, it's just going to be, to me, I think it's going to be way too chaotic. It depends on how they run it, because there's, there's multiple ways that you can handle... Um, um, pre-arranged seats. Yes, but... Uh, so we'll, we shall see. But even, no <laughs> yeah. matter which way they use, somebody's still going to be able to lie about it, whatever. Or yeah, just yeah. slip in or the and sit down. Yeah, and the want. thing is, it's just, although you can catch them at that lie, that's time and effort. And, and it's yeah. just, it's going to have to, what is it going to be? You got to like look, look at their ticket and then, or maybe have like a seating chart with names and stuff. It's like, it's just going to be a lot more effort to keep under control. Yeah. My main problem with it is just for me going to the shows, whereas I'm the same with like going into a movie theater. Now, I don't even think in Canada, well, at least any of the movie theaters I've ever been to, we don't have um, um, selected seating. I know that lots of places in the States do that, especially like the fancier ones. Um, but n I've never been somewhere I've that never has been that either. Um, when I go into movie theater, I like to go not near people. Yeah, <laughs> I want to assess the situation when I enter the theater and then pick seats based on that. Yeah, because like I, I don't. Yeah. Especially in this event, we're gonna want to film when we're in the theater. Mm -hmm. We're probably gonna want to film some of the event itself that's allowed to be filmed. The yeah, people exactly. speaking on stage, not necessarily when they're showing their content, and. It's harder if we had to pick seats, then we're forced to possibly sit beside people who could not want to be filmed. People behind us could not want to be filmed, could ask us not, not to film, hmm. could ask us not to not use that footage in our vlog, which would really suck. Yeah. Um, and they could be um, noisy and... Yeah, like we could be, just... we could, our assigned seats could be right beside a screaming fan. 
which is fine for that person, but then for us, it, it would ruin that experience for yeah. us, because we're not really about that kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. Unless they're a screaming fan for us. Yeah. Then that'd be awesome. <laughs> and they're like, oh, I'm sitting beside SALJ Vlogs! This is the best day ever! And I'd be like, wow. Who are you? <laughs> But yeah, so uh, assigned seating, I'm not a big fan of, and I don't think it'll go well, but we we'll, can't, we'll see. We have to wait and see. Yeah. But like, what I really want to do, even though if we do this, is it wouldn't work out. I want to just wait and like not pick seats. Until like the last minute. But then if there's a show that's going to sell out out of the one of the two shows that we've bought tickets for, mm -hmm. then we could have to end up sitting in seats that are Aren't together, separate from each yeah. other. Um, but like it's my hope that we could just go in, find seats that are not taken and then pick them. But yeah. we'll have to pick seats. Yeah, so we're, we're probably just going to pick seats now. I'm saying just everything, just kind of dead center to the theater. That's where I prefer to sit yep. in general. So if we're sitting there, I think most people are going to pick seats as close as possible. So depending on how full the shows are, we might be back enough where we won't have people behind us or beside us. Yeah. So it's all it's all a gamble. Um, What's she gonna do? That's the way they're gonna do it, so that's the way we gotta do it too. Oh well, so we're gonna we're gonna pick our seats now, right? Yeah. Yeah. For those of you who know uh, how I got into vlogging, um, well, I basically just I watched lots of vlogs and I said I want to do that, and now I do that. <laughs> also, I uh, you know later on down the road I was watching lots of. Um, people playing video games on YouTube, so Let's Play channels, and I said, I want to do that. So I made a, like a gaming channel, and they have a couple videos up there, not a lot. Um, but, you know, I did that, because that's what I was watching, so that's what interested me, so I wanted to do that. <laughs> Lately, I've been, uh, I've been watching, um, like, movie review stuff on YouTube and I've been saying to myself I want to do that <laughs> and I think I'm going to as soon as I find the time I was actually planning on starting it this weekend um, but feeling all sick and stuff I didn't want to you know try and film a more professional video um, while feeling all crappy and stuff. Also, I have no clue which movie to start with. I'm, uh, I'm kind of trying to think, like, what would be a good movie to be my first movie that I review? Like, I can just pick anything, really, but I'm worried about picking something that I like too much, and I'm worried about picking something that I really dislike, because I don't want to be... I don't... I don't know. Not that I'm going to, like get lots of views and stuff, but I wouldn't want to be kind of pigeonholed into being someone who likes everything or someone who dislikes everything, even just with like one video. <laughs> I don't think that would happen, but I don't know, that's just, that's my thought process essentially. So I'm probably going to do that. Um, I already have a channel for it because it's actually my, my old, old, old YouTube channel. Um, because when I first made that YouTube channel, I, this is what I had in mind, was doing, like, movie reviews, and I never ended up doing it, um, but I think I can do it now, possibly. I can at least, I'm gonna at least try again, and actually, when I first got Tumblr so many years ago, that's what my Tumblr was. I wrote, like, movie review things. I only have, like, Mm, maybe 30 movie review things and I went back and read them recently and they're all pretty um they're all pretty bad pretty poorly written uh but I feel like I I do videos videos is my thing so if I'm just talking I think I can then say what I want to say and then also edit it to to sound nice and get my points across and also now that I've been watching a lot more 
um, things. I, I kind of get getting more of a feel for what I should be doing um, while also still having my own voice. But yeah, that's uh, that's kind of what I want to to do now. Like, not that I'm gonna stop doing this, but I like when I <laughs> when I see something I like like something that I think is cool and something that interests me, I want to try and do that. And this is what's interesting me right now. So I kind of want to to give that a shot. But soon. Not not right right now, but soon. Alright guys, still feeling pretty sick. Uh, hopefully this all goes away by Wednesday when school starts. I think so. Like, it can't last that long, can it? Please don't last that long. Anyways, need to get some sleep. Try and get rid of all this crap. It's late. Time to go to bed. Good night. Hey, guess what? Chicken butt. Not chicken butt. Chicken butt. Chicken butt. Chicken butt. <laughs> hey, guess who? Chicken poo. Ew. You. Guess why? Chicken pot pie. Guess how? Chicken meow. Guess where? Chicken hair. Chicken hair. <laughs> like hair or like like hair? I don't know. Both. Hair. <laughs> Weird mixture of a chicken and a rabbit. Well, that's what happens every Easter. Remember? Chicken. Whoa, you just blew my mind. <laughs> <laughs>